it's Gabby and welcome back to My Life as Gabby. So today I thought I would do a bit of a sit down and have a chat with you video about finding the right job, finding a job, or just knowing what you want to do with your life, finding a career, all of the above. It is something that I am really struggling with and I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there struggling to find the right job for them because I really just have no idea in the world what I want to do. Like nothing. I really don't know. I sit here and I think about it and I just have not a single clue at all. Like I'm 22 years old right now so I feel like I need to be thinking about a serious job. I've already been to uni and I studied theatre and acting which I really really love. And it's something that I need to keep working towards because it doesn't actually pay yet. And for someone who has just moved out of home to Sydney from a small country town and is just trying to make rent, it is really difficult. I currently just have a waitressing job and it's really good, I'm enjoying it, but I kind of just scrape by with a bare minimum, like the rent in Sydney is crazy. Actually, if you haven't seen my apartment tour and rent price video, I will link that down below and you should definitely go check that out. But anyway, back to this video. Yes, I'm just like scraping by with my rent and I'd really like a little bit more money to actually buy things that I want to buy, which all comes back to finding a job. So if we rewind a little bit, I want to go back to me as a kid. And I was one of those people that was like really good at everything. Okay, don't judge me just yet. I was really good at everything, but not great at anything if that makes sense like i played so many sports as a kid i played soccer netball um i did dancing i did gymnastics and i was pretty good at all of them i can say that i look back now and i was really good but not great enough for me to take it anywhere it was the same as school i was kind of just average like i didn't struggle but i didn't achieve high marks so i just kind of chilled at school i tend to just kind of fall into things and I can do them well but not great. That might seem like a really good thing but people always tell you as a kid to do the things that you're good at because you enjoy it. Actually it's probably the other way around. Do things that you enjoy because then you're good at them but because I was good at all these things I enjoyed all of them so it kind of just leaves me at like this ground zero in limbo sort of thing where I could go any which way I want. I just have to like develop the skills more which is great but I don't have anywhere to start. I told you I studied acting because I love acting but really I started acting because believe it or not as a small child I was the shyest little kid in school. I used to cry every single day in kindergarten when my mum left. Like not for the first week every single day every single day of kindergarten then growing up as a child i was always really quiet in class like i obviously got over my crying it was the same at birthday parties i would cry when my mum left so my mum was always that parent that had to stay behind thanks mom and i made it through but i was not the most outgoing person and when i got into high school i was like i do not want to be that person anymore so i took up drama in year eight and I really, really loved it. And it pushed me to get out of my comfort zone, which was really good. And I actually ended up getting first place in drama in high school. So I really improved. And because obviously, like what I was saying before, you enjoy the things you're good at. Because I was really good at it, I was like, oh, maybe I can take this further. So then I decided to go to uni. And uni was really good. And I actually won a scholarship on my major work and toured my theatre performance around New South Wales. So that was amazing and I loved that experience and I would love to take that further. But as I was saying before, it's a really hard career to pursue and I kind of need money right now. So I have to put that on hold or keep studying and working towards that goal. But then on the other hand, I'm not even sure if that's even what I want to do with my life, which makes everything so much harder. So then I've been kind of thinking, what if I think of other things that I like and try and pick something else? Recently I was talking to my mum and I thought maybe I could do a interior design, like wedding planner sort of career because that's also something that I'm good at. I'm a very creative person I think and I love putting stuff together. I love decorating. Excuse the plane going over the top. Yeah so then I started looking into courses in that and I could do like a certificate 
and try to do an internship with that and hopefully take that somewhere and that sounds really fun but also my thoughts change day by day i could wake up today and be like no nah, i'm 100 percent committed to acting that's what i'm gonna do i'm putting my foot down i am going to go out and start auditioning for everything learn lines do everything i possibly can and then the next day I could wake up and be like, oh, I don't know if that's exactly what I want to do for the rest of my life. Maybe I'll be a wedding planner. And so then I go off on that tangent. And then I wake up and I think, well, maybe because I've been working as a waitress and seeing people cook, that maybe I want to do cooking because I come home at night after being at work and I'm really inspired by other chefs. True story. And I want to cook all these meals. So then I'm like, maybe I want to do that. And it just changes day by day and I really have no clue and I just end up in this endless loop of not knowing what to do. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I actually had this really interesting chat with one of the girls from work about fear and she was saying we're all held back by fear which is so true the reason i don't go out and get a job is because i'm absolutely terrified and terrified of people saying no to me and i can voice that and say that out loud but subconsciously it's still there and it's really a weird thing to think about fear of failure really holds you back and it's so true for me talking about acting and then the reason i don't pursue that goal is because I have a fear of failure. What if I can't do it? What if everything I'm doing is pointless and then I have to start from square one again? I know that sounds crazy and I should really stop doing that and I can say it. Like I should go out right now and try push my luck and get an acting job. For someone like me who is not 100% set on the idea of acting, I keep getting turned away from it. But then what else do I do? Like, I could really do anything. That's the problem with right now. I'm still young and I'm just starting my career, so I could literally do whatever I want. And that is such an amazing thought to have. And this day and age, people change careers quite often. I think the average career change for a person in their lifetime is like 12 or something. Maybe it's not that high, I don't know, because that sounds really crazy. But I can literally do anything at all that I want which is really exciting but I just need to pick one for now and go with that. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that I have moved away from my mum and mum seems to be really good at like rationalizing with you and motivating you like whenever I talk to mum I'm like yes that's exactly what I should do I'm gonna go out I'm gonna do that degree I'm gonna get that certificate I'm gonna go talk to that person and get some more contacts and just do it. But not having my mum here or really anyone to talk to, because I feel like I can't talk to my roommate about that sort of stuff because it's boring. And if I was trying to help someone with this type of stuff, it's, it's hard to know what to say. So I kind of just sit at home and just think about everything, which makes everything super tricky and keeps me in this endless loop of not knowing what to do. I'm really sorry if I've repeated myself over and over again, because I'm just kind of talking at the camera and expressing my mind and not having anyone there to talk back to me means that I'm just continuously talking about whatever's on my mind. So <laughs> sorry about that. The other thing that comes into play with my life right now is I'm really enjoying making these videos. Like it's just really fun. I love editing. I love making them. I love coming up with the ideas. I love doing them. and. It actually takes a really long time to make videos and edit them and get them out and I'm trying to post constantly every single week and that is a challenge. It may not seem like it but it really is and because I'm loving that so much if I get a full-time job then I'm gonna have no time at all which may sound silly to some people because it's like just a hobby that I'm doing but it's something that I really really like doing and it makes me happy each week so I don't want to stop doing it or I don't want to make it a stressful chore so getting a full-time job where I work 9 to 5 Monday to Friday leaves me only the weekends and then Anthony my roommate is home on weekends and I don't want to annoy him so I'm constantly thinking about that as well and the more I think about needing money the more I think about wanting to film and it just sounds so silly but it's really an issue that I'm struggling to deal with I've also had like my dad and some friends say like why don't you just go out and just get a job 
9 to 5, just earn some money and then I can quit and then I can focus more on making videos and doing what I actually want to do. Not that I know what that is. Which sounds great and there's a lot of days where I think that's exactly what I should do. But also, I don't want to get stuck in an endless loop and again it sounds really silly but I have done it. I worked in a supermarket for 9 years and... Yeah, all right, for the first five, it was great. I was just earning money. I was in school, so it was just an after-school job just to have a bit of extra money. I was living at home, so I didn't really need to spend it on anything. In the end, I just ended up hating it so much. I kept saying to myself, I need to quit. I need to find a new job. I can't stay here. But then my paycheck would come in, and each week I would look at that paycheck and I would just stay there because I was making money. And I know that's going to happen because as soon as I start making more money, I'm going to start spending more money. And I really, really love traveling. That's like the one thing that I'm absolutely certain about and I definitely want to do more of is travel the world. And if I get a full-time job and start making money, then I'm going to start spending that money. And then I won't be able to quit that job and I just feel that I'm going to get stuck in that loop as well. So I don't want to go out and get like a full-time job at... A clothing store or anything because then I just feel like I'll get stuck there and that's really not a good mindset to be in but I just don't know where my mind should be at the moment the last thing I really want to talk about is going into the world with no experience I mean it's one thing not knowing which job I want to have but it's another thing actually getting the job and the jobs that I've actually applied for I get rejected to because I have no experience but how do I get experience I need a job to get experience before I can actually have experience to get a better job. But I can't start to get that experience if I don't have any experience to get the experience in the job. I don't even know if that made sense, but that's how I feel. So I kind of just need to apply for anything and everything at the moment and just take any job that I can possibly get. But anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling on now. It has been a really long time of me just talking into the camera. And I don't mean to make this video of struggle and to be like, oh my god, help me, because I'm really not. I'm really happy with my life right now. I love living in Sydney. I love living with Anthony. And it's all really great. I'm really happy. I love making these videos, but I just don't know where to go from here. And I thought there was other people out there that might be feeling the same way. And I just wanted to let you know that we're on the same page. I really don't know. And if you really don't know, then it's okay. We will get there. And I'm telling you this, but realistically, I'm telling myself this, that it is okay. And I will find something soon. And I like to believe that everything happens for a reason. So... Whatever happens, happens, and if it does, then that's great, and that's exactly where I'm meant to be, and that's exactly what I should be doing. Which is another reason why I'm enjoying making these videos, because I feel like that's exactly what I should be doing right now. But anyway, I think that's enough of me just rambling on and talking. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments as well if you like videos like this. I don't know if it's really boring or I don't know if you want to see something else like this. If you have any ideas of something that you'd like me to talk about, please comment them down below and I'll see what I can do because I really like getting stuff like this off my mind. So I'll be happy to make more. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm putting out new videos every single Wednesday and I'm just trying a bit of everything at the moment. So today was a sit down video. I'm also doing challenges and fun stuff. So it's just a bit of a mixture of everything. And yeah, so that's that. And that's about all I wanted to say for today. I hope I haven't bored you. I hope you found this video somewhat interesting. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!